the city live. The Diva of DIY is back with some home improvement projects this morning. This one will perk up your family room. Lee and Lee joins us with instructions on how to make your own custom throw rug. This is a lot of fun, and I feel like it could be used in many different rooms. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's custom. I feel like a lot of times when you're trying to find a rug for your home, mm -hmm. it's not quite big enough. But you don't want to spend the money to go to that next size. Oh, right, because we're talking an additional thousand bucks, oh, maybe. to go to that next mm -hmm. size. And sometimes the colors aren't right. So this is a way to make your own. Now, these are actual carpet remnants from the carpet store. I went to that Weber Joe's carpet place. Mm -hmm. They had carpet samples 10 for $2. So you know how to find a deal. So do the Lee. math, and they have bright colored. They have all different ones. So think of like a kid's room, and mm -hmm. you could do something like that, and then change them out. So let's let's do this. Okay, so what do we need? We Obviously, need the carpet remnants. The carpet remnants. We're going to need a utility knife of some mm -hmm. sort. I know this scares you. It does. But utility knife. Mm -hmm. Some very. Um, we want heavy duty duct tape, and I did indoor outdoor because I'm thinking of doing an outdoor rug mm -hmm. as well. Right? And then either a carpenter square, or I, I wasn't sure if everybody would have one of those. So just something with a straight edge so okay. that we can cut. Okay? Perfect. So what I did, I'm making this for, you know, we're talking about my lake house mm -hmm. fixer upper. And so I went with all of these neutral colors. I'm mm -hmm. doing creams and taupes and grays. So I just went and picked all their neutral colors out. I love that. And, and they do somehow all work together. They do. And that way you can tie. It's always better to find the rug and then pick a wall color that goes with everything than it is to do it the other way around. Mm -hmm. Good idea. So you notice how most of them have a binding around mm -hmm. the outside. You know, you were talking about getting buying a piece of carpet and mm -hmm. having it bound, but it's expensive, right? It is. So these are going to be our end pieces because mm -hmm. it will be bound. And then we can cut all of these, cut off the binding for our middle pieces so that it all oh, flows together. So I think like of that. that when you're doing it. This will be your binding. Mm -hmm. And so we'll save So you those. have a finished edge you'll for have your a, entire rug. Right. But you'll cut out all mm -hmm. of your middle. So like this would be our finished edge. Mm -hmm. So what you'll do, and I forgot to bring a piece of cardboard, and I don't want to cut on this tape. Well, as if you can tell I've already destroyed. I it a feel few like times. those are some Lee and Lee marks right I do. there. So what you would do is you would go right along your binding. Let me find. Let's just we'll just show this one. Okay. You'll have your binding edge right here, mm -hmm. and you're gonna put. If you had a carpenter square, it would be an L, and so it would be straight along that edge, and then okay. straight along here, and then you're gonna take a sharp blade. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to just cut right along. See how easy that cuts? Oh, wow. Right along really your straight does. edge, and then you'll be able to pull it off. Perfect. Okay? So now I have, let's just take two raw edges. Mm -hmm. So we've got this one, and we'll take this one, doesn't matter, right here. Okay. We'll flip them over. Now we need that duct tape. I and love now, use duct tape. Right? Yes. So we put these edges together. And we're just going to duct tape away. Oh, I hate this part. Leanne Lee. I should have had this open for Lee you. Leanne Lee. Okay, you, maybe you have a better, you've got those good nails. I got these strong, heavy duty, I've got my indoor, outdoor, heavy duty nails. All right, so <laughs> then you're just going to pull. And what I love about duct tape is you don't need anything to cut it. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to start taping. And what I like to do is you'll tape your section. And you would lay out your whole rug first and then flip it over. Okay. But I like to go this way, and then everywhere where there's a seam, I like to double seam it. So get, get okay. it all laid out with one double piece. Double duty duct tape. And then flip it over. And there you go. And we have the finished product in front of us, which looks amazing. I feel like this is the perfect thing for a dorm room. I do, too, because you can add all types of colors to it. And then let's say... There's a party foul, mm -hmm. right? All you'll have to do remove one of those little squares and put a new a square on. I should say. And mom and dad would never know. There you right? go. You can follow the Diva of DIYs many projects online and on social media, or you can find her on our website, CaseyLive.tv. Leanne, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. Great job. Thank City you. Live. The Diva of DIY is back with some home improvement projects this morning. This one will perk up your family room. Lee and Lee joins us with instructions on how to make your own custom throw rug. This is a lot of fun, and I feel like it could be used in many different rooms. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's custom. I feel like a lot of times when you're trying to find a rug for your home, mm 